All right, here we go. 2.22 right now is the time that we're looking at. Way to go, Marcy. Way to go, Maribel. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here, we go. Let's, here they come, right here. Oh, last year's champion. I don't know if y'all heard that. Let's bring in Mark Oh, repeat champion. Mark, here he comes. 2.22, Mark Mesmer, 222. he was a 2019 and 2021 champion. Second, third all-time Missoula Marathon, 2020 and 2024 Olympic qualifier. I would tell you, this guy knows how to run. <laughs> Mark, I'm sorry we made you, I'm sorry we made you walk up the ladder. You literally have to write a half marathon. Get in here, Mark, get in here. All right, buddy. We won't take too much of your time here. You just completed, again, the third win for you here for Missoula Marathon. Second in a row. I talked to you last year. Yeah. Mark, right off the bat, buddy, how are you feeling, man? Um, I mean, honest. I'm honest. I'm a little disappointed, to be quite honest. I wanted, I wanted that record, but I mean, it's hard to be disappointed when you, uh, you know, break the tape. So I can't complain too much. But I have to come back again next year now and try and go for that record. You know, again, so. Mark, it, it takes a special type of person to win your third Missoula Marathon, second in a row. If you're a little disappointed, it shows what kind of dedication, yeah, what kind of dedication you have. Buddy. Yeah, for sure. I mean. It, it's hard to not want that. It's your hometown For marathon. Sure. It's you know the guy that won it to Bobcat. I'm a Grizz, so there's some, yeah. something to be said about that too. So um, yeah, I gotta come back and get that record eventually. I don't know how, car. but marathon I'll figure it out. Exactly back to the direction. drawing board, right? Back, but I guess, man. So just real quick, and we'll let you go because I know you got a lot of recovery to do. How's the course out there today? It feels like I'm in a jacket, but it feels yeah. like it's good temperatures. It's, huh? it's perfect temperatures. Can't complain about that. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, I had someone with me for the first seven, which is, you know, that helps for sure. And then it broke apart a little bit. And once you start catching up to the half marathoners, that's what keeps you going. Yeah. Yeah. They are so loud for you. And then you come across the bridge, and that's really, really special. So, I mean, that's that's a big reason why I come back is the bridge right there. It's awesome. I bet. One, so loud. Oh, man, Mark. And one more for you here, buddy. Um, What's the plan afterwards now? That's always my question. I wonder, how do you recover from this? Do you eat a big meal? Do you go for some pizza, pasta later yeah. on? Well, I mean, what, what, what's the yeah, game plan So it here? depends on how the stomach feels. I usually start a little bit slow and then progress from there. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I'll get a big dinner in me and just relax for the next few days and then, you know, start training again. Get ready for next year. Uh, yeah. All right. Mark, buddy, congratulations, hey, man. So Appreciate you. Yeah. Uh, on another amazing race, and hopefully we'll do it again next yes. year. Yeah, let's plan on it. All right, man. Be careful going down those stairs. Sorry we made you come up those again. See you, Mark.